Hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War Judgment, and this is my three stars declassified insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. Welcome. I wanted to introduce you to the walkthrough. I appreciate all the subscribers that uh, do watch the videos, and we're almost nearing 10,000 subscribers, so that will be another accomplishment. And I reflect on that regularly, if you if you're interested, um, but. This is Gears of War Judgment. It has a lot of different things from uh, Gears of War 1 through 3, but it has a lot of similarities too. And I won't be able to talk about the similarities too much in depth, but I did want to note that as you're going through the challenge of uh, declassifying and getting all of the stars on Insane, uh, you'll notice that you'll be getting stars at the top left, and they're called Onyx stars, which can only be obtained on uh, Insane difficulty. So if you are wondering if the game is ever being played on anything but Insane, all you need to do is just consult the, uh, the top left and you'll see those Onyx stars accruing. So the Onyx stars, uh, the declassified I should say, they are a multiplier that helps you earn the stars. And uh, a little bit of an aside here, do you recall on Gears of War 2, the game that I just covered, where you can only aim over your left shoulder out of cover if first you went to a piece of cover that was only uh, waist high rather than chest high. But on this, any any time that you're at the side of cover behind um, either waist high or chest high cover, you can withdraw from cover while still preserving your aim and then walk around aiming over your left shoulder, which the game does not permit you to do in any other circumstances. So it's a little workaround. It's not a cheat. Uh, it's just a little workaround that you can do to... Um, help yourself facilitate third-person cover tricks. What I like to do on this, though, is I like to get the military intelligence um, and executions on here. Military intelligence is spotting three enemies that results in deaths. So it isn't always possible to, to get that, but it's such an easy thing to be spotting enemies and trying to kill them quickly that... Um, I would say that it should become second nature to you to be spotting enemies by clicking in the left stick while you're aiming over an enemy. So if you can remember it, aim and then spot over an enemy. And if it results in a kill and then you do that three times over, you'll get the military intelligence ribbon because you'll want the ribbons. The ribbons are your key to getting um, the, the most score attributes you can to get those stars. And there's all number of manner to get the stars. Executions, headshots, the ribbons, uh, you name it. Basically, the more risks you take, the more likely you are to get um, bonus points. So the declassified mission here is that the regular wretches that you would ordinarily see on this mission are replaced by the, um, well, they were called glowies in Gears of War 3. So I'm just going to be calling them that or either Dark Wretches, as this game calls them. And what it is is that uh, these ones replace the normal wretches that don't explode, and then these ones do explode. And you can chainsaw these guys if you have uh, not much damage on your, on your damage HUD. You can get away with not getting killed if you have a little bit of damage on your HUD. But um, you can always get away with it if you have no damage on your damage HUD. I'm talking about the subsequent explosion that results from chainsawing those guys and I would I would do it it's an easy way to get an execution um, but there are two ways up here there's the way that we were just a moment ago and then there's a way over here and there is a guy with a long shot over here but the thing about Gears of War Judgment is sometimes enemies instead of dropping their the weapon that they're holding they'll just drop ammo packs which is very frustrating and I, I, w I really wish they didn't do it um, but since this is such an arcade-based sort of shooting situation and feeling, um, I guess it makes sense. But there is a hole right there that you can seal. Ordinarily on those holes, you'll want to get the cluster luck and the plug the hole ribbon simultaneously. So how do you get that? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that grubs are coming up out of the hole before you throw your grenade or your or you shoot your boom shot or torque or, or whatever, your bushka for hell. And um, if you kill enemies while they're coming out of the hole, you'll get the 
cluster lock ribbon and you'll also get the sealing in the hole ribbon so you get two ribbons like i did right there so it it's uh it may seem on some of these missions that it's difficult to get the three s's but i will show you mission by mission how that you can stack the odds more into your favor okay and again always spot enemies you, you never know if your teammates will be helping out and maybe they'll put someone down for you off camera and help you get that achievement and uh, and then things can go really well for you so i wanted to once again welcome you to the walkthrough it's going to be a full walkthrough like i said on the declassified missions on insane uh, achieving all of the three stars the onyx stars so this is a pretty simple basic introductory mission isn't too long most of the missions aren't too long hell um, but we'll be going into some more difficult ones coming up the next one is a little difficult the third one is what I usually call the trial by fire but again I can get you through it without excessive problems I'm confident of that anyway I'll always show you the statistics both sheets here and peruse those at your own leisure or don't and I will see you in the next video for the beginning of the walkthrough I wish you well I wish that God blesses you and I hope that you take care